guys, welcome back to our video. I will show you a very easy exercise that you can do at home if you have a tennis elbow problem. So just to stretch elbow and this, this will help also with your wrist. So we go in a four point position. Be careful with your hands. Just put them straight forward like this. And from this position, you just move your weight forward and backward. Forward and backward. You will feel a nice stretch all over here, all over your forearm, and also you will increase the mobility of your wrist. So forward and backward. From this position then, you can just turn your hands outside and do it the same. Forward and backward. We do this for every side of our hand. So move the hands inside, forward and backward, and also like this. Forward and back. Another thing that you can do, when you have the hands outside, just move side to side. Like this. And this one can be repeated also with the hands inside. So, side to side. If you do this 10 times each side, once, twice a day, perfect. You will see great results at your health advice from our Italian um, expert on range movement at the wrist and elbow. So what we're going to do is we're going to head over to Poland now to um, see Pauline and Pauline is going to show us some more techniques on how we can improve um, our range at our wrist and elbow. So over to you Pauline. There are a few other movements that we've not done just yet. So we're looking at the pronation and supination. So the supination when your palm is facing up to the ceiling, the pronation when your palm is facing up to the floor as well as ulnar and radial, radial deviation of your wrist, so bringing your wrist in. So this way is ulnar deviation and radial deviation. So we're going to be doing that in a lying down position. You're going to rest your elbows on the mat, and you're going to start with thumbs point, uh, pointing up towards the ceiling, and now you're just going to rotate your palms down towards the floor, and then open your palms up towards the ceiling. And we're going to do it nice and slow, just rotate it around, in and out, Trying to get for the full range of movement as far as you comfortably can. Do it nice and slow, and I just repeat it ten times. Just going nice and calm in and out. What we're going to move on to next is our radial normal deviation. So bring our hands apart and then bring our thumbs closer together. Trying to keep our hands on the floor all the time. And again, doing it nice and slow, just moving around ten times working on, on our radial and normal deviation for our wrist movements. So, supination, pronation, ulnar deviation, and radial deviation for our movements. Information there from Paulina working on supination, pronation, radial, and ulnar deviation. Our final exercise, one that I really like, which works on that pronation, supination, is one that I, I, I do when I'm on, lying on the ground. So what I'm going to do, pop myself on the ground, Lying down, I will use my thumbs. I'm going to try to get my thumbs to touch the ground in pronation and then supinate as much as I can and see if I can get them to touch again in supination. So I struggle with that supinated position. I'm not too bad at the pronated position, but I'm really working as hard as I can to get my thumbs in that position. So I hope you enjoyed the video um, on improving your range of movement at the elbow and wrist and uh, watch out for the next few videos and look if you can um, press that like and subscribe button and leave a comment really helps us out. We enjoy doing the videos. Great to hear your feedback and uh, let us know what you want to see.